Today, we have our friend, the great professor, Dr. Julius Dion Bailey of Wittenberg University. He studies and has written several books, uh, and I love how he intersects his faith and the culture and the struggles that African Americans go through. He's written several books on hip hop and philosophy, how our young people express themselves through the music and what it means. Facebook, 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 and all other video streams. This is Dr. Julius Bailey. I'm just excited to be able to be with you real quickly. I'm, I'm going to be in Warren, Ohio, that's Northeast Ohio, on this Sunday, the 24th of February at the Second Baptist Church of Warren, Ohio, where the great pastor Todd Johnson is leading that flock. Uh, and I'm excited to be there, so please join me uh, there. Uh, uh, but as I think about today, just today, Burberry joined H&M and Gucci and, 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 uh, uh, and others who have had the temerity to put forth a clothing line that's represented death, uh, pain, trauma, and even racism. These labels, H&M and others, are seen as high-end or high-brow with exclusive clientele with the ability to set the value or even devalue others. Again, labels can set value or devalue others. What then shall we do with these labels? Some of you have uh, uh, been labeled as bipolar and have never had clinical diagnosis. Some of you have been labeled with ADHD and yet has never seen a psychologist. Some of you have been labeled as ghetto or convict without any type of sociological analysis. Some of us have been labeled as fat or faggot or ugly or stuck up or hopeless or weak or dumb or even useless. When I was a kid, when I would hear labels that I didn't like, I'd be ready to fight or, or sometimes I would just say, yo mama. But when I say yo mama, what I learned later that it quite possibly was the fact that their mama also wore that label. Can I share with you right now that you do not have to wear the label that society gives you? Can I share with you that you do not even have to wear the label that even might have been passed down through the generation before? Why? On Sunday the 24th, I will be uh, at, in Warren, Ohio at the Great House of Hope. And just know that if you're listening right now, come on that day, 10 a.m. Because if you know like I know, you know that God can take your label and strip it and then change your name. God did it before. He did it with Abram and turned him to Abraham. He did it with Sarai and turned her to Sarah. He did it with Jacob and turned him to Israel. Jesus did it with Simon and called him Peter. We know that when God enters and into your life, your, you will not be the same. Join me, join me, join me this Sunday, the 24th of February in Warren, Ohio at the House of Hope. I'm going to be given a message entitled, watch this now. What shall you be called? What shall you be called? In philosophy, naming is an ontological act, ontology. By ontology, we mean both the state of being and the process of becoming at the same time. Look, I hope you meet me this Sunday at Second Baptist Church uh, in Warren, Ohio. Again, 10 a.m. Bring your youth, your young adults, your grandmama, your, 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 your auntie, your cousins. Bring them all there. If you bring some young people, just trust. I might even, I might, I might even have a hip hop word snuck, in, snuck up in the message sometime. God is just doing great things in my life and I'm, I'm excited to come up there with my family uh, there in Warren, Ohio. I think my mama might even come up uh, from Chicago but I'm just excited to be with my family and Pastor Todd Johnson is doing great things there at the House of Hope. Again, if you can't make it, tune in to the uh, uh, House of Hope's uh, in Warren, Ohio, their Facebook page or follow my live. I'll probably share uh, the House of Hope's thing but just remember that you do not have to wear the labels that is given to you. If you accept God into your life, God will change your name and force you to wrestle with the question, what shall you be called? Amen.
Back in, back is the incredible.